सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सुखम नित्यम स्वप्रकाशम व्यापकम नाम अधिष्ठान बुद्ध्यबोध्यम बुद्धिर्दृग्यु निर्मल अपारम सर्वेदेद्यम प्रत्यक परम मह तदेवाहम नोदी मे निश्चिता मति विचार सागर फिफ्थ चैप्टर पेज 157 फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ लास्ट फाइव लाइन्स इत्थम आकाशे एको गुण वायव अग्नौत्रय जले चार पृथिव्या पंचगुण त्रापि प्रतिभूत प्रातिस्वीकुण गुण तो एक तदितर गुण कारणदनुगता सर्व मूल कारणमीश्वर अंशद्वयमस्ती चैतन्यांशो मयांशेती सर्वु भूतेषु विद्यमानो नाम मिथ्यांश मयाया सत्तास्फूर्तिशस्तु चैतन्य ज्ञेय निश्चलदास इज टाकिंग अबउट द क्रिएशन इन वेदांता वी डिस्कस अबउट थ्री टॉपिक्स मेनली फस्ट टॉपिक इज ईश्वर स्वरूप सेकेंड टॉपिक जीवस्वरूप थर्ड टॉपिक जगत्स्वरूप हूज ईश्वर वाट ईज हिज नेचर हूज द इंडिविजुअल जीव वाट ईज द नेचर ऑफ जीव ई दि इंडिविजुअल देन द वर्ल्ड the universe which is in front of me what is its nature these are the three topics shastra discuss for the sake of the mumukshus srishti topic is discussed here After discussing about Ishvara, Deva Swarupam also over. Ishvara Swarupam topic is also over. Now, Nishchala Dasa has entered the nature of this creation. How this creation has emerges out, come to manifest. so from karana ishvara the sukshma shariram's all have come that is from karana ishvara pancha bhutas have come akasha vayu agni apaha prithivi 
स्पेस एयर फायर वाटर अर्थ फर्स्ट ईश्वरा क्रिएटेड द फाइव एलिमेंट्स ईश्वरा क्रिएटेड द फाइव एलिमेंट्स मीन्स ईश्वरा मैनिफेस्ट एज फाइव एलिमेंट्स then who is ishvara what nishchala dasa said or what shastra says ishvara is maya sahitam brahma nirgunam brahma associated with maya becomes sagunam that sagunam brahma is known as ishvara then ishvara created this world for what purpose also nishchala dasa mentioned for jeevas to exhaust their punya papa karma ishvara has to create this universe ishvara doesn't have any nairghrnya dosham ishvara is not compassionless ishvara is not having partiality but ishvara has created this universe all living beings pranis for the sake of their experience of pleasure and pain why jeevas has to experience pleasure and pain because of their purva janma karma that karma phalam one has to undergo otherwise how do you explain the pleasure and pain of different living beings in this creation you can explain only through karma siddhanta that is uh, law of karma that also mentioned in previous classes having said that much once jeevas are ready jeevas to exhaust their punya papa karma ishvara has created five elements with different gunas each element has got its own guna primarily and from that maya trigunatmika maya is the upadana karanam used by ishvara and maya has got three gunas the pancha bhutas what are the products of maya sahitam brahma all three gunas will come they are the components of maya sattva guna rajo guna and tamo guna these three gunas are components of maya since maya is the cause it is utilized for the purpose of pancha bhuta srishti so pancha bhuta have come with different all the sounds are also expressed in this middle of the paragraph i am not entering into that portion gada gada chili chili <laughs> bhugu bhugu what we saw in panchadashi same vichara sagara karta nischala dasa also explained here akashe pratidhvani roopa shabdah in the middle of the paragraph vayau bc iti shabdah sita ushna kathinanam chila kshana sparshascha vartate agrau bhugu bhugu shabdah like that water has got madhura rasascha vartate the water has got sweetness he said the sweetness of the water you come to know when you eat some pita haritadi amla he said in the middle of the paragraph harita kya amla ka dil bhakshana once you eat that amla fruit after eating that you drink water and that water you feel sweet amla is not sweet 
but water sweetness manifest just as from the white color the prism vibzr appears rainbow is formed out of white color but when you see the white color it doesn't have any seven colors all rainbow vibzr colors manifest out of white color like that you can take different examples for the manifestation of that guna of that element therefore he gives uh, two three examples uh, sugar example also we can take when you put the sugar in your mouth mukham is the abhivyanjaka that sweetness is not created generated by the sugar it is uh, mukham is the abhivyanjaka it is the not producer but the manifester the tongue when the it mixed with the saliva the water and the tongue the sweetness of that sugar manifest like that all these panchabhutas <coughs> prithvi is also sugandha gandhavati prithvi so all these we saw in the last class like that itham akashe ekagunah akasha has got only one guna shabda gunam that shabda from omkara only all sounds um, emerges out om shabda vayu dvau guna because vayu is air is born out of akasha akasha shabda and vayu shabda sparsha guna vayu therefore vayu has got two gunas vayu dvau means dvau guna gunav two gunas are there one is father's guna that is akasha sparsha guna is its own guna two gunas are there what about agni agni has got traya shabda sparsha roopa rasa that's why bhugu bhugu shabda it creates that akasha shabda guna comes in agni vayu sparsha guna comes in agni then agni has got its own guna that is roopa guna so three guna sar jale chatwara ha water carries that uh, grandfather great grandfather akasha shabda guna vayu sparsha guna agni roopa guna and its own guna rasa all put together chatwara ha four gunas these are all we saw in tattva bodha those who have not uh, studied tattva bodha for them it is very new but the old students know all these things prithivyam pancha guna ha what are the five gunas of prithvi shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha just as children born with their parents um, features father features mother features like that karana guna ha karye anuvartante all the attributes of the cause will manifest in the effects karana guna ha karye in the effects products it appears that is the law so tatra api pratibhutam pratisvika guna ha tu ekah eva even though prithvi has got five water has got four gunas agni has got three gunas and vayu has got two gunas each one has got its own predominant feature or attribute <coughs> that we know shabda guna each element has got its own guna before panchi karanam they are all with their own gunas afterwards 
ತದಿತರ ಗುಣ ಕಾರಣಾನುಗತಃ ಇತರ ಗುಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಗಂಧ ಗುಣ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಇಟ್ ರಸ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಪ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ವೇರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕಾರಣಾತ್ ಅನುಗತ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈರ್ ಫೈರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರ್ ಏರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯ ಸಹಿತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಶ್ವರ ಅದು ಆಲ್ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಸ ರೆಡಿ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಸ ರೆಡಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಟಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಸಟಿಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಭೌತಿಕ ಶರೀರ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಭೌತಿಕ ಭೂತಾತ್ ಜಾತ ಭೌತಿಕ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಜಾತ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರ ನೌ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯ ಮೂಲ ಕಾರಣ ಈಶ್ವರ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂಲ ಕಾರಣ ಈಶ್ವರ ದ ಈಶ್ವರ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ದೆನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಈಶ್ವರೇ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಅಂಶದ್ವಯಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಅಂಶಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಚೈತನ್ಯಾಂಶ ಮಾಯ 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 ಮಾಯಾಂಶ ಚ ಅಂಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಅಂಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಅಂಶ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಪರ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪರ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಅಂಶ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪರ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಅಂಶ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪರ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಅಂಶ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಪರ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಯಾ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಅನ್ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಸೊ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಅನಾದಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನಾದಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನಾದಿ ಅನಾದಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ಲೆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ಲೆಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ಲೆಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾರಣ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾರಣ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾರಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಕಾರಣತ್ವ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅನ್ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅನ್ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಚೇತನತ್ವ ಸಿನ್ಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ವೆರ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಚೇತನತ್ವ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಜಡತ್ವ ಅಚೇತನತ್ವ ಆರ್ ಜಡತ್ವ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅನ್ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಚೇತನ ಸೆನ್ಶಿಯಂಟ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಅಚೇತನ ಇನ್ಸೆನ್ಶಿಯಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇನರ್ಟ್ ಐ ಎನ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಇನರ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮೀಸ್ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಾರ ಚೇಂಜ್ಲೆಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಸವಿಕಾರ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್
means changing <coughs> savikara then second uh, third common feature is um, chaitanya is akhanda indivisible chaitanya is indivisible whereas maya is divisible khanda sakhanda divisible then fourth uncommon feature is chaitanya is nirgunam attributeless maya has got sagunam it has got attributes sagunam nirgunatvam sagunatvam chaitanyam is uh, nirgunam maya is sagunam then last and final uncommon feature is chaitanyam is satyam maya is mithya chaitanya is satyam maya is mithya so these are the uh, two common features and five uncommon features so having uh, understood these differences between maya and prakriti sorry maya and chaitanyam what nichala dasa says sarveshu bhuteshu vidyamanah what is this chaitanya amsha what do you mean by maya amsha how do we know what is chaitanya amsha what is uh, uh, maya amsha ishwara has got maya amsha you are telling how do we know how to find out he says sarvesh bhuteshu in all living beings bhuteshu vidyamanah whatever is there nama rupatmaka mithyamshah nama name is there every living being has got name whatever object is there in this universe it has got name and it has got form rupa nama rupa that's why i said इंद्रग्रश्य विवेक अस्ति भाति प्रियम रूपम नाम चेत अंश पंचक नाम रूप बोथ बिलोंग्स टू मायाया बिलोंग टू माया सो वाट एवर यू सी इन दिस वर्ल्ड माया ओनली नाम एंड रूप यू सी द रूप एंड यू नो द नेम देर फोर नाम रूप नाम रूप that means uh, you are seeing maya only nama rupa maya ya ha na then what about chaitanyam sha of ishvara so the nama rupa ishvara has got nama ishvara has got rupa ishvara has got nama rupam and all his creation also has got nama rupa so including our body our body has got one nama nama means not this nama but what you put on the face nama means name name and form our body also has a, it has got a form and it has got a name from the morning to till night when you are in waking state you are interacting with what nama rupa so you are interacting with maya then uh, what is the second amsha of ishvara chaitanyam satta spurti rupa amshastu satta spurti here rupa means we should not take that rupa of maya uh, of the nature of rupa means here it is in the form of satta existence chaitanya amsha is that in ishvara is in the form of existence e capital letter existence spurti means sentience esyeva spuranam sadatmakam asat kalsa kalpaarthakam bhasate dakshina murti stotra visa satta means existence spurti means consciousness existence and consciousness 
अंशस्तु चैतन्यस्य एव इति विनेयम यू शुड नो माय डियर स्टूडेंट विनेयम यू शुड नो व्हाट चैतन्यस्य दिस टू आर बिलोंग टू चैतन्य नाम रूप बिलोंग टू माया अंश माया अंश हैज गॉट अ नाम रूप माया इज द पार्ट ऑफ ईश्वर ईश्वर इज नथिंग बट ब्रह्मन प्लस माया Ishvara is equal to Brahman plus Maya, Nirguna Brahman plus Maya. So Ishvara has got two amshas, one is Maya amsha, one is Brahma amsha. That Brahma amsha alone is called Chaitanya. That Chaitanya alone is called Sat and Chit, Sadamsha and Chidamsha, Easiness and Knownness. If you want to know something, it must exist. It is existing means you must know. Easiness and knownness. Satta means easiness. Spurti means knownness. And Tamil we say irpudal and unarv. Unarv is the conscious. Awareness. Awareness. Satta spurti amshastu chaitanya. चैतन्य सो चैतन्य प्लस माया इज इक्वल टू ब्रह्मन देर फोर चैतन्य अंश मीन सत् ईश्वर इज ए मिक्सचर ऑफ माया अंश एंड चैतन्य अंश दट मीन ईश्वर हेज गॉट एर नेम एंड फॉर्म दे बोथ बिलोंग टू माया अंश ऑफ ईश्वर then ishvara has got chaitanya amsha which chaitanya amsha is nothing but sat and chit therefore ishvara exist ishvara is conscious being conscious consciousness so easiness and knownness up to here we saw in the long last class after long gap we are entering into the next topic up to here that nishchala uh, dasa introduced sukshma srishti nirupanam in that uh, 266 previous page he started sukshma pancha bhutanam tad gunanam cha utpatti so sukshma pancha bhutas tad gunas are उत्पत्ति ही हु क्रिएटेड उत्पत्ति हु क्रिएटेड मीन्स ईश्वरा हु इज ईश्वरा माया अंश एंड चेतन अंश वट इज माया नाम रूप अंश वट इज चेतन्य अंश सत् चित्त देर फोर वट इज द करोलरी ईश्वरा एक्जिस्ट ईश्वरा क्रिएटेड द वर्ल्ड Ishvara became the world. World is nothing but Ishvara. Therefore, we never say there is one God. We say there is only God. There is a lot of difference between these two words. Saying we don't have many gods. we don't have one god we have only god the god word is not that much ideal but let us use ishvara we have only ishvara nothing else this is the vedic teaching it's very difficult for a normal and um, unrefined mind people cannot grasp there are people different levels gross minded people subtle minded people subtlest mind people so subtlest mind people sukshma grahi people only understand wherever they are so you are all we are all sukshma grahis 
that's why we are able to understand vedanta is not for all gross minded people or subtle minded people vedanta is for subtlest minded people who are very very well refined it is, cannot be grasped by all people there are people different categories different level of thinking people are there shastra is for all levels of people shastra talks about for gross minded people also all karma kanda is for gross minded people upasana kanda for subtle minded people vedanta gnana kanda is for subtlest minded people that is why ishvara alone is there it is uh, not uh, uh, swallowable for many gross minded people therefore we have to understand how subtlest teaching it is so ishvara exist ishvara created the world pancha bhutas sukshma pancha bhutas and ishvara has got two amshas maya sahitam brahma maya is nama roopa so therefore ishvara became the world he manifest as the world therefore world is nothing but ishvara for us to understand this you have to begin with undedi ramudokkade anta brahmamayam anta ramamayam anta krishnamayam telugu desa kadavul na kadandi ulla irkar kadavul everywhere bhagwan is there we say how can you understand everywhere bhagwan is there in the beginning initial stages for gross minded people we say everywhere bhagwan is there bhagwan alone is powerful all pervading but how this is the way you have to understand god is there god alone is there nothing else is there that, that is why we don't have division of secular and non secular for, for us everything is sacred for us everything is ishvara because everything is made out of maya nama roopa and sat and chit every object every living being it is it is 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 isness the isness is that knownness i know this i know this i know this knownness isness is there knownness is there name is there form is there this is what ishvara ishvara means maya maya means name and form i am seeing name and form i am uh, grasping behind that name and form that person is i know him i know her sat and chit there is no difficulty in this this is called shruti yukti anubhava roopa gnanam what is this shruti based on shruti statements yukti based on logic no one can negate this at any time logic yukti anubhava i am seeing nama i am seeing the roopa i am seeing the roopa i know the nama name of that roopa and that roopa exist living beings they are all they exist and they are conscious beings how simple vedanta is why people manage not to understand <laughs> some bad prarabdha is there nothing else so simple very very simple vedanta the most simplest easiest subject is vedanta if you are prepared nama roopa i'm seeing and every nama roopa exists and i know that knownness 
isness, form and name. What else is there in this universe? Nothing. Other than name, form, isness and knownness. Now let us go to the next topic. 267 चतुर्विध भेद सहित अंतह करनोत्पत्ति ही फोर टाइप्स ऑफ चतुर्विध भेद फोर टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंसेस सहित दैट व्हिच इज एंडाउड विथ फोर टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंसेस व्हाट इज दैट अंतह करनो इंटरनल और गॉन Antaha means inner, inner or gone. Karana means or gone. Antah karana utpatti hi, the birth of antah karana inner or gone. What is that? Which has got four different stages, different functions we can say. I will read that. Apanchi krita pancha bhuta naam Sattva guna Sattva gunaam se samashti hi Sattva mitya abhidhiya maanam Antak karanam Utpadayati Antak karanam Gnanot patti he tuhu Gnanotpatti hi sattva gunat yangi kritam Sattva sanjayate gnanam Tasmad antah karanam bhutanam Sattva gunakaryam Tascha antah karanam Apanchi krita pancha bhuta Vyashti sattva guna Sattva gunakaryam Karya Pancha Jnani Indriya Naam Swasva Vishaya Grahane Sahakari Tasmadapi Pancha Bhuta Samashti Sattva Guna Karya Meva Antah Karanam Apanchi Krita Pancha Bhuta Naam Apanchi Krita Ungrossified Panchikrita means grossified. A panchikrita ungrossified five elements panchabhutanam satraguna amsha samashtihi satraguna all panchabhutas have satraguna. How do you know? How do you know? Because panchabhutas born out of maya. Maya has got three gunas. Three components are there in the Maya. Trigunatmika Maya Asti. Therefore, Maya is the Karanam. Its products, five elements also must have three gunas. Therefore, Akasha, Vayu, Agni, Apaha, Prithvi. Five elements are also having three gunas. That's what. Sattva guna samashti hi. All the five elements. Samashti means all five elements have got sattva guna. Antakkaranam is that which is born out of the sattva guna of all the five elements. Antakkaranam is that which is born out of all the five elements sattva guna. That is the meaning. Sattva guna amsha samashtihi. Sattva mitya abhidhiya manam antah karanam. Antah karanam since it is born out of sattva guna of all five elements. Antah karanam can be called as sattvam. Utpadayati. Antah karanam utpadayati. Sattva mitya vidhiya mana mantha karanam utpadaya. All these five elements are the cause, their sattva guna is the cause for the utpatti birth of antha karanam. 
వాడు ఏమో వినిపోయి అంతఃకరణం అంతఃకరణం జ్ఞానోత్పత్తి హేతు అంతఃకరణం ఈజ్ దాట్ హుచ్ ఈజ్ ద కాస్ హేతు కాస్ ఫర్ ద అరైవల్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ జ్ఞాన ఉత్పత్తి హేతు అంతఃకరణం ఇన్నర్ ఆర్గాన్ ఈజ్ దాట్ హుచ్ ఈజ్ ద హేతు కాస్ ఫర్ ద అరైవల్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ జ్ఞానోత్పత్తి హేతు హౌ బ్యూటిఫుల్ సాంస్క్రిట్ యూ సి సింపుల్ సాంస్క్రిట్ జ్ఞానోత్పత్తి సత్వగుణాది అంగీకృతం ఈ జ్ఞాన ఉత్పత్తి జ్ఞానం ఈజ్ బాండ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ సత్వగుణ ఆల్రెడీ ఎగ్రీడ్ యాక్సెప్టెడ్ అంగీకృతం వేర్ ఇన్ భగవద్గీత ఫోర్టీన్త్ చాప్టర్ సెవెంటీన్త్ స్వెర్స్ నిశ్చల దాస హ్యాస్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద బ్రాకెట్ సాల్స్ ఓకే సత్వ సంజాయతే జ్ఞానం when you have sattva guna gnana utpatti will take place sattva sanjayate gnana knowledge is born of the sattva guna sattva guna is the cause for the arrival of knowledge therefore antakaranam is made out of sattva guna of all five elements therefore it deserve to be as a జ్ఞాన ఉత్పత్తి హేతు తస్మాత్ దేట్ ఫోర్ అంతఃకరణం భూతాం సత్వగుణ కార్యం దేట్ ఫోర్ అంతఃకరణం ఇన్నర్ ఆర్గాన్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ కార్యం మీన్స్ ఎ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆఫ్ పంచ తస్మ అంతఃకరణం భూతాం ఆల్ ద ఫైవ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ సత్వగుణ అంతఃకరణం ఈజ్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది సత్వగుణ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద ఫైవ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఐ రిపీట్ అంతఃకరణం ఇన్నర్ ఆర్గాన్ ఈజ్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్ కార్యం ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద ఫైవ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ సత్వగుణ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సత్వగుణ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద ఫైవ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ పుట్ టుగెదర్ అంతఃకరణం తంతఃకరణం అపంచీకృత పంచభూత వ్యష్టి సత్వగుణ కార్యం వెరీ బిగ్ సెంటెన్స్ యూ సి తత్ చ అంతఃకరణం దట్ అంతఃకరణం ఇన్నర్ ఆర్గాన్ ఈస్ మేడ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ బై పంచభూత వాట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ పంచభూత గ్రాసిఫైడ్ ఆర్ అన్గ్రాసిఫైడ్ అపంచీకృత హియర్ ప్రింటింగ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ వెరీ క్లియర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు కరెక్ట్ ఇట్ అపంచీకృత అన్గ్రాసిఫైడ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ అపంచీకృత భూ పంచభూత వ్యష్టి సత్వగుణ వ్యష్టి సత్వగుణ కార్యం సో దేర్ సత్వగుణ సత్వగుణ కార్యం పంచ జ్ఞానేంద్రియాణ ఇండివిజువల్ వ్యష్టి మీన్స్ ఇండివిజువల్ హ్యాస్ గాట్ పంచ జ్ఞానేంద్రియాస్ పంచ జ్ఞానేంద్రియాస్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో సత్వగుణ కార్యం దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ వీ సా హిన్ తత్వబోధ బేసిక్ లెసన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సర్వస్ లైక్ ఎ నిధి ధ్యాసనం నౌ దోస్ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ నోన్ దిస్ టాపిక్ it enters more when you listen again pancha gnani indriyani what are they shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha hearing power seeing power uh, tasting power and uh, touching power shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha uh, all these uh, స్వస్వ విషయగ్రహణి సహకారి ఇది పంచ జ్ఞానేంద్రియాస్ ఐస్ ఇయర్స్ నోస్ టంగ్ స్కిన్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు నో దోస్ కరస్పాండింగ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ సౌండ్ ఫార్మ్స్ టేస్ట్ శబ్ద విషయ రూప విషయ గంధ విషయ రస విషయ ఆల్ ఆర్ 
known to sense organs because of whom antarkaranam so gnani indriyas are the sense organs of knowledge they are able to function in their own field because of antarkaranam so antarkaranam sasvasasva vishaya grahane sahakari see the sentence once again तस्मा अंतकरण अपंचीकृत पंचभूत व्यष्टि सत्वगुण कार्य पंच ज्ञानेन्द्रियाण स्वस्व विषय ग्रहण सहकार अंतकरण इज द सहकारी इट ईज सपोर्टर हेलिंग द ईज टू सी द कलर एंड इयर्स टू हियर द सौंड टंग टू टेस्ट द a ruchi that taste and skin to feel the touch nose to feel the smell all this mantakaran with the sahakar tasmadapi panchabhuta samashti sattva guna karyam eva antakar so each <coughs> see the difference between gnana indriyani and man antakar vyashti samashti this i need not explain but this is the context i have to explain anyone is not uh, very much familiar with tattva bodha this point to be highlighted samashti vyashti means uh, ears uh, shrotra indriyam only akasha is uh, uh, sattva guna is predominant ears akasha guna eyes rupa guna of agni nose gandha guna of prithvi sattva guna and tongue rasa water jala that is sattva guna of water sattva guna of akasha to ears sattva guna of eyes sattva guna of agni for eyes sattva guna of prithvi for nose sattva guna of water for tongue sattva guna of vayu for touch so each element vyashti means separate separately they are having pancha gnanendriyas have sattva guna of each element whereas the mind has a samashti sattva guna because mind has to be there behind every sense or cone of knowledge mind has to be there behind eyes also to know the forms mind has to be there behind the ears also to know the sounds mind has to be there behind the nose also to know the smell mind has to be there behind the tongue also to know the taste mind has to be there to know the touch behind the parshendriyam therefore mind has got samashti sattva guna pancha gnani indriyas have got vyashti samas sattva guna this is very interesting okay i hope you have got it uh, if you have not listen my tattva bodha you understand guna karyam eva antakaranam but न वैशेषिकादीना ऐ हेव टू रीड न वैशेषिकादीना इव अंतकरणम नित्यम अंत देह से अंतस्थित्वा करणम ज्ञान साधनम इति अंतकरणम उच्यते पंचभूत समष्टि सत्वगुण कार्यत्वेन अंतकरणम सत्वमित्यभि सत्वमपि कीर्त्यते अंतकरण परिणाम से वृत्तिरिति संज्ञा अंतकरण से वृत्ति वृत्तय चतस्र फॉर द वेरी वेरी सटल टॉपिक वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट आवर ओन बॉडी माइंड कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके that is why vedanta is so favorite huh? because uh, i am not studying about anything outside objects i am studying about my own body mind complex with which i am 
interacting with the world day and night night in this means uh, even in the sleep also <laughs> the whole body is functioning anyhow now look into that uh, line uh, vaiseshika adina nyaya vaiseshikas this is an aside point actually he has to talk about pranas first <coughs> Antakkarana means manasu buddhi chitta ahankara, he is going to explain. Jiva means pran, jiva means chidabhasa plus manas. Mind plus chidabhasa, reflected consciousness is called jiva, we say generally. Because mind, through mind alone we understand Vedanta, to study everything, through mind only we do. That is why we give importance to mind. Mind is equal to mind plus Chidabhasa is equal to Jiva, individual. This is what we saw in every class. But uh, really speaking, a right, correct version is according to Prashnopanishad. Prana plus Chidabhasa alone is called Jiva. Prana plus Chidabhasa is called Jiva. This is correct exactly. Because Prani, every Prani, everyone has got mind, evolved mind or not, it is doubtful. But every living being has got Prana. All living beings, Jiva means what? Jiva means not only human beings. Jiva means not only human beings. There are 84 lakhs of species are there. All of them are Jivas only. Even tree is also called Jiva. Animals, insects, amphibians, aquatic creatures, birds, animals, so many Jivas are there. We think Jiva means only individual human being. No. So the jiva in plants, mind is not evolved. In insects, in other animals, mind is not heavily evolved. Even uh, mentally challenged people, mind is not evolved. Therefore, jiva means mind plus jiva bhasa is not 100% correct. Even though we compromise, we say that. But re really speaking, uh, Jeeva Pranadharane is the correct definition of Jeeva. Jeeva is equal to what? Chidabhasa plus Prana. That Prana topic should be given first. That Prana topic comes later. Uh, this is the Prashna Upanishad. That is why in Brahadaranyaka Chandogya uh, Prashna Upanishad we saw Jeshtascha Shreshtascha Prana is the Jeshtha Shreshtha And that story also we saw in Chandogya Upanishad Who is Shreshtha? Who is great among all these 17 faculties? Yekona Vimshati Mukaha 19 faculties Pancha Jnani Indriyani, Pancha Karmi Indriyani, Pancha Prana, Deha, Manasu, Buddhi, Chitta, Hankara, all put together 19 faculties. What is important? Prana is important. All living beings, we call them as Prani, even though mind is not evolved. That is the right meaning. But some compromised version we take mind plus Chidavasa is Jeeva. That is only for uh, evolved mind human beings. Seek. But here, this Vaiseshikas and Nyaya philosophers, Antakkaranam Vaiseshikadinam Iva Na Nityam. For them, mind is uh, eternal. Antakkaranam is eternal. For whom Nyaya Vaiseshikanam. Nityam. 
like that it is not eternal for us that is mithya it dissolve once jnanam comes therefore it is anityam for us that point aside point he mentions here what is that na vaisheshikaadinam iva vaisheshikaadinam iva antakaranam na nityam like uh, nyaya vaishesh adipadarthi nyaya nyaya vaisheshika philosophers for them antakaranam is nityam but for us na nityam it is not nityam for us it is not eternal for us it is mithya antak deha why it is called antakaranam what is the reason he says antah is equal to deha dehasya antah sthitva because it is in the body within the body dehasya antah sthitva remaining within the body karanam see how beautifully gives the meaning antah dehasya antah sthitva remaining within the body then why it is called karanam ಜ್ಞಾನಸಾಧನಮಿತಿ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಮುಚ್ಚತೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಾಧನ ಕರಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಾಧನ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಈಸ್ ದಾಟ್ ಹುಚ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಬೈ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಹುಚ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಾಧನ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ of knowledge because of antakaranam only we will get knowledge iti antakaranam ichchate therefore it is called antakaranam panchabhuta samashti sattva guna karyatvena why it is called sattvam antakaranam is called sattvakyam also he said why it is called sattvam in second line sattva gunam ಆದಿ ಅಂಗೀಕೃತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸತ್ವಮಿತ್ಯಭಿಧೀಯಮಾನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಸತ್ವ ಇತಿ ಅಭಿಧೀಯಮಾನ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸತ್ವ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಅಂತ ಪಂಚಭೂತ ಸಮಷ್ಟಿ ಸತ್ವ all the five elements their sattva guna akasha sattva guna vayu sattva guna agni sattva guna jala sattva guna prithvi sattva guna all the sattva guna karyatvena it is the product who is the product antakarana antakarana is the product of the sattva guna of all the five elements therefore antakarana ಸತ್ವಂ ಇತಿ ಅಪಿ ಕೀರ್ತ್ಯತೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಕೀರ್ತ್ಯತೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸತ್ವಂ ಸತ್ವಂ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ವೃತ್ತಿರಿತಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಎ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಪರಿಮಾಣ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪರಿಮಾಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನ್ಯಾಯ ವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪರಿಮಾಣ ಈಸ್ ಅಣುಪರಿಮಾಣ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಣುಪರಿಮಾಣ ಫರ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಪರಿಮಾಣ ಪರಿಮಾಣ ಸೈಜ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ change its function parinama means modification when there is a modification happens in the antakaranam that is called vritti hiti sanya vritti means function antakaranam has got four types of functions that is function that parinama that modification that change is called vritti hi ಅಂತಃಕರಣಸ್ಯ ವೃತ್ತಯ ಚತಸ್ರ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ಪದಾರ್ಥಸ್ಯ 
ಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿಶ್ಚಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ತತ್ರ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎನಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಿಶ್ಚಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಮೆನ್ ದ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಸಿ ಎನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫೋಮ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ನಿಶ್ಚಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವೆನ್ ದ ಥಾಟ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಓ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಸೊ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ನಿಶ್ಚಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ದೆನ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಚಿತ್ತ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಯರ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ತತ್ವಬೋಧ ವೀಸ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮನಸ್ಸು ದೇವತಾ ಚಂದ್ರಮ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ